Hi, everyone. It's Tracy from Political Coffee with your U.S. History Moment. On February 27, 1922, the Supreme Court defended women's voting rights. In Washington, D.C., the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution providing for female suffrage is unanimously declared constitutional by the eight members of the U.S. Supreme Court at the time. The 19th Amendment, which stated that the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. It was a product of over seven decades of meetings, petitions, and protests by women suffragists and their supporters. Then in 1916, the Democratic and Republican parties endorsed female enfranchisement, and on June 4, 1919, the 19th Amendment was passed by Congress and sent to the states for ratification. On August 18, 1920, Tennessee became the 36th state to ratify the amendment, achieving the required three-fourths majority of state ratification. And on August 26, the 19th Amendment officially took effect. This is Tracy Martin with Political Coffee with your moment in history.